What led you to be part of this event? Well, I, I'll tell you, I, uh, about a year ago, I went to a pastor's conference and I heard a statistic that really broke my heart. And the statistic said that there were 65 million evangelical Christians in this country, that only 50% were registered to vote, and of that 50%, only 50% had voted. That means three out of four evangelical Christians are not even voting. That really put a burden in my heart, because if Christians are not voting, how can we exercise our rights as citizens? The Lord took me to a passage in Scripture in Ezekiel 3.17, which says, Son of man, I call you as a watchman on the wall to do two things, to hear from me, that is to hear from God, and number two, to warn the people. And what I felt God, God was telling me in my heart was, go tell my pastors to go warn my people. And uh, what do you believe it will take to get the evangelical community to really, to, to get that other three-fourths involved? Well, we need to, you know, the truth shall make you free. I think what has happened is that the church in general have lived on the great misconceptions. One of them that I mentioned in my talk a little while ago is that you hear a lot of Christians saying, politics is a dirty business. I don't want any part of it. But the problem is, if the people of faith are saying that, then it means that the people that are not of faith are the only ones that are voting and are electing people that are not of faith. So if we want to elect people that uphold Christian values. And you know, every time you see the, the, the message of the scriptures, when the values of the Word of God are, are, are followed, there is prosperity, there is peace, there are a lot of things that follow when we're following God's precepts. But if the people of God are not voting, then how can we expect the government to move in the direction that we would like to see this country go. And uh, last question, keeping what you were saying there, is you know, what would American society look like if the church was more involved uh, politically, more involved in making a, a biblically correct instead of politically correct? Society? Well, I, I think we, we see that in the history of, of Israel. When Judah had a righteous king or Israel had a righteous king, the whole country followed the Lord. When Israel or Judah had a wicked king, the whole country went to idolatry, went to all kinds of uh, perversion and so on and so forth. As the government went, so went the people. If we have people in government that uphold Christian values, that means also they have, first and foremost, the welfare of the population. We will see a resurgence of economic prosperity and a biblical resurgence of, and maybe even revival. I think that we cannot separate uh, politics and religion, they are interrelated. They've always been interrelated.